Friday in the morning we have the encounter with Rafa. That is the healing service. It will be a different healing service. What is wrong with your leg? So your leg is swollen like this. So you want Jesus to heal you. Do you promise to live for him? You'll be a good girl. Come out of Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this work, Lord. Thank you. My name is Diana Jane from Hong Kong. I was sick, very sick. My legs were swollen. I was here on a Sunday. And I had gigantic legs. They were so swollen. I remember when I came. You are the one with the giant legs? Yes. Hey. It's uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. And after the prayers, I got here. I went home and my legs started returning to its state, to its normal state. And I thank God I'm here today because I promised myself that if God heals me, I'll come back and do this testimony today. We will have worship and we'll have praise. Then after that, that, we know, that day no Pastor Bramwell. Remember we'll have had the morning devotion. I will just come, encourage, and I will pray for people. I pray for them because by one, that service should be over. So if you are not for the healing service, the main service for that day, the grand finale for the prayer camp will start at three, okay? So at three o'clock, We'll have the present worship. They will worship now. The full team will be here now. They will be here. Raruka, Niamuisho. Muambia, tell God, let me not leave this place the way I came. Hallelujah. So we'll start from 3 o'clock with the present worship. Then we'll have the word. Then we will pray. And I will try as much as possible as God allows me. There's something that has been in my heart. Just to walk around holding your hand. Kushika tumkonombili. See fire. Just holding your hand in agreement. I just walk holding your hand. So that will take place on Friday. And if God gives me the grace, I'll hold the hands of a few people. Whatever you, I don't, I don't, I'm not praying for you, but God, whatever they are praying for, I say amen with them. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. By God's grace. And the pastors will be here. Pastor Bramwell is the son of the house. We will be here. Tutashikana mkono. Atakushika mkono na mini kuja ni kushike mkono. I will try to convince my wife also that she carries the Holy Spirit. Powerful one. Vile nani... They say the man is the head, eh? but they say the woman is the neck. The way she turned me, the way she wants, she must have great Holy Spirit. So on Sunday, we just have the, the normal service, but it is encounter with Rafa part two, where I'm praying, I'm getting it. It is my final week of the covenant, the seventh week of the covenant. So um, I, we want to download it by God's grace. As Jesus resurrects, let people resurrect also.
real longing for liberation from the chains of affliction? In Exodus 15:26, the Lord declares, For I am the Lord who heals you. Experience the power of divine healing at the Encounter with Rafa Healing Service, happening at the Open Heavens Ministry of Jesus. Join us on Friday, March 29th and Sunday, March 31st, as we gather to witness miraculous manifestations of God's healing grace through Prophet Alan Jomba. Kwa neema ya Mungu nilipata mwelekeo ya kuandaa ibada ya kipekee kwa sababu ya uponyaji. Whether it's physical ailments, emotional scars, or spiritual bondage, come expecting restoration and renewal. It's time to reclaim your health, your joy, and your destiny. Don't let the enemy steal another moment of your freedom. Come expecting miracles. Come expecting restoration. Come expecting an encounter with Jehovah Rapha at the Open Heavens Ministry. See you there. A real longing for liberation from the chains of affliction? In Exodus 15:26, the Lord declares, For I am the Lord who heals you. Experience the power of divine healing at the Encounter with Rafa Healing Service, happening at the Open Heavens Ministry of Jesus. Join us on Friday, March 29th and Sunday, March 31st, as we gather to witness miraculous manifestations of God's healing grace through Prophet Alan Jomba. Kwa neema ya Mungu nilipata mwelekeo ya kuandaa ibada ya kipekee kwa sababu ya uponyaji. Whether it's physical ailments, emotional scars, or spiritual bondage, come expecting restoration and renewal. It's time to reclaim your health, your joy, and your destiny. Don't let the enemy steal another moment of your freedom. Come expecting miracles. Come expecting restoration. Come expecting an encounter with Jehovah Rapha at the Open Heavens Ministry. See you there. keti kati ya sifa ya taifa yake na anatafuta maabudu wa kweli wala wanamobudu katika haki na kiroho usiangalie kama niliomba jioni niliomba jana niliomba asubuhi lakini saa hizi nimechoka ah uh-uh. Mungu asichokake hiyo saa hiyo unaangalia kama mimi nimechoka jo saa hiyo Mungu anataka kuja kufanya mambo mnene ndani ya maisha yako pale umechoka jo Mungu anakuja tena kukupatia nguvu. Haleluya. Pale umesema kuna Aisha, jo pale Mungu anakuja tena kukupatia nguvu. Hebu uanze kumwabudu tu Mungu. Umpikie Mungu asante, umwambie Mungu asante. Asante kwa yote unafanya ndani ya maisha yangu. Asante kwa yote unafanya ndani ya utumishi wangu. Tunaweza kwanza kumwambia Mungu muabudu, Mungu mshukuru Mungu kwa yote alifanya asubuhi. Kwa yote alifanya jana, kwa yote alifanya tena asubuhi ndani ya maisha yako. Abudu Mungu, uabudiwe Bwana, upo sifa Jehova. Nani kama wewe mapendo saa yako, neema saa yako. Nakushukuru Bwana. Uinuliwe Jehova. Uinuliwe mfalme wa wafalme. Uinuliwe kimbilio mkubwa. Uinuliwe Emmanuel. Mungu pamoja nasi. Ulikuwa pamoja nasi tokea mwanzo kama vile Alpha. Bwana Yesu uko tena pamoja nasi. Naona Biblia unamwambia Gedeon Wewe ni msuja lakini asikuwa ameshapigana vita Jehova sisi hapa na sisi Mungu tumeishiwa nguvu tumeishiwa akili Bwana Lakini tumekucha kwako tumekucha kwako wewe ncho nguvu letu Bwana Wewe ncho nguvu letu Bwana Wewe ncho nguvu letu Bwana Uinuliwe tena Bwana tumekucha kukuinua juu tena Bwana Chill. 
Up your hand to him, you are Yahweh. Alpha, Alpha, now lift up your hands before him, worship him. 
Tell him you are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Rabo shete kete ya papa. Shete kete kete. Shete kete ya na ya. You are Yahweh. Jesus. When the man. When the man. Thank you. 
kukubariki yeye hana shida ya kukupa yeye hana shida ya kukubariki ila tu ukimwamini 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 session we thank you for allowing us to soak ourselves in your presence through through songs we understand you are our song and therefore lord we have declared our praises we declared our worship to you you are the object of our of our worship we thank you for you the object of our affection you have released our hearts to you and now it's time father to hear your word to be blessed from your table i know that who is coming will nourish your spirit will encourage us in this journey and above all to be a moment of thinking and allowing your your word just to work certain things and adjust certain things in our hearts and our lives so that job will go become the worshipers and the sons and the daughters that you desired for the ages. We love you and we appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we, re- we pray. Are you ready to hear the word of God this moment? Hallelujah. Without so much things, so I want us just to put hands together and welcome Pastor Dan. Put your hands together.
praise God. Praise God once more. Nana nasikia raha kwamba uwepo wa Mungu uko ndani hapa. Nana sote tunasikia. Amen, amen, amen. Ah, uh, in the book of uh, Matthew 5:1, uh, 5:6, sorry. The Bible says blessed are those who hunger and righteousness because they will be filled with the righteousness. So as we are here we should have the hunger njaa na kiu ya kumtafuta bwana amen the more we have hunger the more we draw ourselves closer to god amen uh, the other book of john 5 uh, john uh, 16 12 says my spirit will lead you in the truth and follow you all what is to come my spirit will lead you into the truth and show you all what is to come so this means if we hunger for righteousness the lord jesus through his spirit he will lead us into anything that we do in our lives he will lead us into our business amen He will lead our children in uh, in doing the exam and they'll pass. He will lead our marriage because uh, in marriage there's a lot of temptation because when we invite Jesus in our heart, he will invite us. He will uh, he will uh, uh, guide us in his ways. In the book of John 3:1, it says uh, 3:34, I will give you my spirit in unlimited measure shakata i will give my spirit in unlimited measure what does this mean it means the spirit of god is already available it's you now as a believer as a christian to utilize that spirit that the lord has given you and uh, it is through fasting and prayer In the morning we we had a very nice session about uh, walking in power of God. Amen. Since sote tulikuwa hapo and we felt the presence walking with power of God. How do we attract God in our lives? In a manner that the spirit of the Lord will be poured to you in unlimited measure. Amen. If we walk by the spirit nothing will ever touch our lives our children will be protected our business will be protected our marriage will be protected and everything that you do will always be protected uh, i can give you a very good example uh, in in mombasa the job that i normally do it's most of the time visiting schools and uh, giving them uh, systems and at times because most of my time i, no, I normally drive uh, you, I, it reaches a point whereby I want to go out. I want maybe to go maybe a distance of around 35 km. I ignite my vehicle and I go. And uh, when I go uh, when I drive around 1 km, the spirit of the Lord tells me Dan can go back. And I normally obey because uh, I've learned myself to 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 pray always in the spirit. And uh, when I go back and naachagari uh, nasema I'll not go with the vehicle. Wacha ni pande matatu. The time when uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are now uh, the, the, the matatu is going and the conductor is, uh, is, uh, is doing what he normally does, uh, you find that katika barabara there's a lot of police. There's a lot of police and every and every vehicle has been stopped so that they can they can uh, inspect it. And uh, when I see such kind of thing, I remember, oh, thank you Jesus, because you are protecting me, because definitely. Askari angenishika angeniambia una ngapi si ndio tunajua lugha and definitely ungetoa maybe hongo and maybe at that time the spirit was leading you not to commit that sin because because bribery is a sin it's a sin so if we live by the spirit there are some things that even you yourself will be astonished and living by the spirit is practicing what the bible says if it is fasting and prayer like uh, like the time that we are here we are fasting and we are praying we are charging our spirit 
we are living in the spirit. We are, uh, we are spending more time in prayer and fasting. And in that aspect, we attract God. The things that, are, uh, the things that were making us uh, not achieve what uh, God wanted us to achieve, we see them now uh, leaving us. Zinatwacha. I remember 10 years or 7 years back there, I used to drink so much. How is this, Abika? I used to go in a club, spend 50, 20, 30,000 for a weekend. I was in that captivity. And it reaches a time when, whereby, Kazi uh, Katika. For five years, I worked without a job. But all what I was doing, even when I was drunk, I go to, to the church. Because at the church, I play keyboard, I play guitar. Now when I'm there, uh, you see, there's that conviction, uh, I've, been, I've been living a life that is not good, but in my heart, I'm serving God. So that was the lifestyle. Until when uh, it was a time when, whereby I used to drink from morning, uh, from uh, evening to three, I go sleep for two hours. Then after that, I go to work, work. By that time, I was working in the bank. And uh, being in the bank, you're given all such kind of facility. If it's credit card, it's matched with what you're getting, you're earning. If it is uh, entertainment, because by that time we uh, used to work in a corporate sector, a sector whereby uh, entertainment uh, with, my, most, um, with my, my senior manager, we used to be given entertainment allowance. So drinking was, money was not a problem. So the issue was drinking. If you want to see Duncan or you want to be entertained, call me, I'll tell you, come to this place. We drink 30, 40. But it came to a time whereby uh, when I was in that captivity, Mungu uh, Aliona, my destiny was being destroyed with this alcohol. And so by that time, Kazi Kakuji Kakatika to part. Nani Kasema, what is happening? You do your applications, you do all such kind of applications, but no job at all. And it's not the matter that you are not learned. You have a diploma, you have a higher diploma, you have a bachelor's degree, you even have a master's degree. But applying for a job who party, kapsa, cause unatafuta, unatafuta, who party. Then it reached a point, I called myself Kamkutano, what is happening? Five years now down the line. But even with the five years down the line, uh, there was that provision, you saw that there was a grace in me that was working in me. Uh, you don't get much, but you get something to pay rent, you get something to pay this, nani naisha. Then I came to my senses, what is killing me? What is making me not enjoy these goodies that uh, the Lord has always prepared in my life? And uh, that is the time now, uh, uh, Prophet was in Kangemi. I'm telling you my personal testimony now. That was the time now, Prophet was in Kangemi. And Nikana uh, Knafatilia Prophet, what is saying? And I'm oh, this is the thing that is eating my mind. So what do I need to do? I gave my life afresh to Jesus. And I started now walking in righteousness. And I remember that time prophet telling us, there are things that you as a Christian, you will never defeat them unless you fast and pray. You fast and pray. And by that time, I used to weigh around 115, 120 kg. It reached a time whereby KBP, if you go to, 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 to hospital, KBP, it reached to that point. Now, when I got the revelation that prophet was saying, so there are some things that we need to do, fasting and prayer. And that is the time now I made a clean covenant with God. I said now is the time we make a covenant with you, God, so that you can restore all what has been stolen. You can restore my life, and I can fulfill the purpose that you, Lord, you have prepared in my life. 
Because the Bible says, uh, I have, I know the plans uh, uh, that uh, the, the Lord has set for you. So everyone has good plans that the Lord has set for him or her. Now the issue is, do you know the plan that the Lord has set for you? Do you know the blueprint of your life? Because everyone has a positive aspect and has a stronghold in his heart. If it is not in singing, if it is not in, uh, in, in preaching, if it is not in maybe in a Bible study, if it's not maybe in Sunday school, you have a stronghold in your life. And that is the time now I started, I started my walk with God. And I, and I said to myself, Lord Jesus, help me because I cannot do without you. If you leave me, Lord, I will die. And I don't want to die a mere man. I don't want to die. I want to leave a legacy. And by that time, 2015, 2016, uh, 2010, I knew about to be Joshua. And I used to like it. Hey, how is this man doing it? Anafanyaje. And uh, during when, uh, when I was making those covenants, I told, to myself, I, I told God that one thing with me, if I'm going to walk 100% with you, I don't want to be a mere man or a mere person who will be just preaching and not demonstrating your power. No, I don't want it. No, that's not in my, 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 my diary. I don't want it. If you are going to use me, Lord, use me accurately, use me according to your ways. If it is written, Jesus laid hands on the, on the, on the sick and they got healed. Why is, it, why is it that we get healed, we get lay hands on uh, the sick and they don't get healed? Why? Have you ever asked that question? Umesha ijulisa no swali. Kwa nini unaomba, unafanya hivi na vitu vingine haifanyiki? Nilikakumbuka kwamba when Jesus was here 2000 years ago, he said there are some things that you need to fast and pray. Sindio? And that is the time now uh, uh, last year but one I set a standard and we set a covenant with God that 3 days per week will be fasting. Come rain, come sunshine and I'll never break that covenant. And uh, have you reached a point whereby you have money in your pocket uh, your kids maybe they are eating maybe kuku and ugali and you are there you can see it and you cannot eat it and you cannot touch it and you are the one who has bought for them you go into a restaurant you enter you have a, you have a client you tell him order what you want you will pay the bill you am going to pay for the bill na anakula na maliza na kwambia are you waiting no no i'm okay because there is that covenant you have done with God. Amen? Now, uh, we move to, to, to what you are supposed to, what you are supposed to read. Uh, our main uh, book comes from Mark 2, 1 to 5. Mark 2, 1 to 5. Amen? Mark 1, 2, Are we there? Mark 2, 1 to 5 says, A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there were no room left, not even outside the door, uh, even outside the door, and he preached. And uh, the, word of God, uh, the word to him, some men came bringing to, uh, bringing to him a paralyzed man carrying, carried by four men, four of them. Since Jesus could not get to, to him, uh, to, uh, sorry, since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and they lowered the, uh, the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, underline the word, when Jesus saw their faith. So my theme as per now, it is, can Jesus see your faith? Can Jesus see your faith? And when I was meditating upon this word, the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit took me to 
those 200 years and uh, I was trying to imagine like uh, we are in this congregation it's fully packed to the people Jesus is standing in the middle here and then four people who heard about Jesus that was in Capernaum Yesu alikuwa Capernaum they heard kwamba Yesu alikuwa Capernaum and they knew that Jesus son of the living God has the power to heal the power to forgive sin so they took a step of faith and uh, they they what hand uh, and I was imagining wakabomo hapo and why they raised wakamleta paka mali hapa and when Jesus saw their faith the paralyzed man was healed amen the most important thing is can Jesus see your faith so in other words faith can be seen and faith can be proved and faith can be owned it is one thing you can write this it is one thing to have faith and to show faith it is one thing to have faith and not show faith and not show it sorry You can have faith and not show it. But according to this scripture, these four men had faith. They had the faith in them that Jesus, son of the living God, can heal. And they carried the, the paralytic man. And I was imagining, when they were carrying this man, what were they saying? Wacha tukupeleke, maybe unesapona. Uh, it is many times to majaribu maybe uh, kukupeleka kwa mganga but hukuponya but let us try this because we have heard that Jesus can heal let us try our best maybe this was the last solution they carried him and brought him to the, to the to the church or to the place where Jesus was preaching and when Jesus saw their faith they were healed and uh, according to, to what the spirit was telling me there were there were there was two kind of healings there was one the physical healing of the paralytic man amen two there was the spiritual healing of this man and the other four that were with him because one they carried the man to where jesus was they saw him being healed and as a process of them seeing that the healing has happened they were also healed of what was challenging their lives i ask you brothers and sisters what is challenging your life that jesus cannot heal amen in this trial and, uh, and uh, tribulation that we are in we must always have faith and i was i was looking at the def definition of faith and uh, it was saying faith is assurance of things hoped for and uh, conviction of things not seen. So the paralyzed man was healed. Can Jesus see your faith? Your faith? A believer must not only know faith, but a believer must as well show faith and practice it. The pract practicability of faith becomes into action when you do it. Are we together? The practicability of faith becomes a reality or becomes a manifestation of what you, are, you, are, you want it to happen. Can Jesus see your faith? And the next question I may ask, why should we show or why should we uh, show our faith? And why should we prove it? Why should we show faith and why should we prove it? When I was meditating about this one, if you are a Christian and you cannot 
prove your faith, then you don't have faith. If you are a Christian, you cannot show faith, you cannot prove faith, then you are not a Christian. It means maybe you are not uh, in, the, in the deep end because in the spirit there is deep, deeper, deepest. So if you are in deeper, we can see uh, characters of uh, manifestation. But if you are deep, deep, deep in, that is the time now, the faith in you, you can even demonstrate it. And uh, morning hours, uh, the preacher talked about Idahosa. Idahosa had faith in God in a manner that you could even kill him and still tells you, I have faith. Because there was a time I was watching his, uh, his testimony. He was saying there was a time they were in a crusade. In a crusade. And uh, there were about 10 of thousands of people. And then it appeared by that time when he was about to preach, there was heavy rains coming. And so, he demonstrated his faith and power by stating this when he was at the pulpit or at the altar. He, this is what the words that he said. You reign. I know you are a messenger of God. Me too, I am a messenger of God. Wait fast for one hour. I finish preaching and healing. Then that is the time I can command you to come. And it was evidently mvua ina nyesha huko viguruguru vinapiga na mvua haikuji hivi he preached he preached he preached he preached after finishing when he was doing the benediction in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit now rain i allow now to come na mvua within 5 minutes wow faith can you demonstrate your faith and for you to grow in faith, you must be tested. That is one thing you must know. So any test that comes into your way, just to know that God is always checking. Have you passed that exam? Because in any, in any exam, in any, in any, the university of God, there must be an exam. Katika, katika uh, kwa mungu, Kila kitu unachofanya lazima utapewa mtihani. Je, ukipewa mtihani unaweza uanguka ama unaweza upita? Are you bold enough to say yes I can demonstrate power? Are you that bold? And something that I realized for you to be able to demonstrate that power of God in you or to demonstrate that faith so that it can be manifested, you have to spend plenty of time in the upper room. When people are, when people maybe in Sasita, when people are sleeping, at least before midnight comes into place, before Sasita Fike, because that is normally a new dawn of another day, you should make sure that you're always in prayer. Shaka, taya, ela, kata, epa, laka. You're always in prayer. After you have done that, you sleep. Wake up. You say to yourself, Lord, here I am. I'm so determined to come to close to you, to attract your anointing, Lord. Have mercy on me. What is it that, Lord, I'm doing that I cannot get it? Because there are some things that we as Christians, we are doing and that is what is hindering to, to us getting that uh, anointing. What is it? If it is laying of hands, you have been laid hands, even legs you have been laid, you know yourself you are going heavenly perpendicularly, but you cannot demonstrate faith. What is eating you as a Christian? Can Jesus see your faith? Can Jesus see your faith? There was a time I was, my, my faith was tested. For a period of two years, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
I'm fasting. And the covenant that we have with God is when I'm fasting from three, naweza fungua. Nikiona nimelemewa sana from 3 hapo but I make sure the the, the, the 3 pm imenifikia hapo. And something that I normally or have, have uh, make it as a, a habit because every great man has a habit. The time when I'm going to to, 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 to to do marketing for my clients, that is the time now I'm fasting. Wakati ule naenda kwa na directors wa mashule so that I can seal a contract, that is the time when I'm fasting. And uh, before I reach to that place, I normally say, God, give me the contract because that money that I'm going to get from that contract, portion of it is going for your work. Because the Bible says that uh, the Lord will, uh, will provide to unlimited measure so that he can, he can fulfill the, your desire and his will. So it is the right of you having money and fulfilling God's purpose. Because in the kingdom of God, we must have also uh, uh, kingdom financiers. Katika uduma pia tunataka pesa inatakikana. So when I'm, I'm on my way to fast, when, sorry, when I'm on my way to, to visit clients, I've made it a tradition. And uh, sometimes I can drive to a school and I listen to my spirit. And sometimes I'm like, ah, singi hapo. And, I meet, and uh, imagine we had called to have an appointment. And I go, I go to another school. The moment I see the director, I tell him about what we do, blah, 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 everything. Within two minutes, where do I sign? Sign and I get the contract. When I'm on my way to make a shakata impala kete ye boikata, I'm normally happy. I pray in tongues. Can Jesus see your faith? Can you demonstrate your faith? What you do ex expresses what you believe. What you do, kile nochafanya, expresses what you believe. Like for instance, what we are doing here now. We are demonstrating faith. Fasting and praying. Fasting and praying. We are demonstrating faith. What you do. Amen. It is only faith that expresses the belief in our hearts. It is only faith that expresses the belief in our hearts. Something else that I've discovered, it takes a man of faith to, go, to recognize another man of faith. It takes a man of faith to recognize another man of faith. You should be filled in, uh, uh, with the Holy Ghost in a manner that if someone is preaching, yes, he's a man of God. There was a time uh, when I was fasting, uh, that is last year, but one then came to last year. There was a time my faith, my, my, my faith was tested. And you see, it reaches a point whereby you are fasting, you are praying, you are walking in righteousness, all the things that uh, the Bible says, if it's tithed, unatoa. If it's doing charity, unafanya. So it reaches a point whereby you ask God, God, give me an exam so that I can test myself. God, give me an exam because in the university, ukika year one, year two, year three, si ulazimu patu mtiani. And ukifanya mtiani, you either pass with the first class honors, second class upper, second class lower, even if you nanguka. So last year I was tested. And the test that I was tested, uh, the, the test that I, uh, I went through, I had asked God to test me so that I can see 
do I have the power? During, uh, during Mama Evelyn Joshua crusade last year, we came uh, to Kyoko Dormitory around Satano Siku. There was a man who was, who was, who was uh, sleeping next to me. Mimi in Melapo, I'm Melapo. And all of a sudden, I was speaking to, to, to my phone with her. I was speaking to my wife. Around, it was around 10, 30, 11 ish there. Nikamaliza kuongea. So niki, nikiangalia on the other side, I see, um, uh, I see the bed on a kitanda. It's as if someone is having an epileptic. Are we together? I go to that place, uh, or I go to that bed, na kufungua. Kuangalia, what is it, my brother? When I open uh, the duvet, I'm a blanket. The man I see, his eyes have turned there. Evil. Mdomo. Inatua formula. Inatua ile upovu. Na mtu anafitika yuko. Aya. Kasema, my brother, what is it? And you could see, you could hear a groaning sound. It's as if someone is dying. In my mind, Nikaskia Sauti, go and call uh, Jomba. Ah, I realize it's almost 11. Then another voice comes to me. Duncan, where are you going? You're even from Evelyn Joshua, crusade. That's, that's the spirit of death. That's the spirit of death. Kemea yokitu. And I don't know where I felt the energy in me. I felt the anger. Umesha sikia anger, spiritual anger. That is what I felt. And I just went straight to that man. In the name of Jesus, out, you demon of death. And immediately when I said so, nikona, amenyoka kama mnyonyo, Haya. Then in my heart, Naskia Soti Kinambia say thank you, G. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was my first time. Then Kumbi Hapa, there's a paramedic who is a KDF, but now by that time I was working with St. John's. And I'm can say, eh, Pastor, Pastor, you may call your people make me visuri. Eh, who make me visuri quelli. Ah. Sasa, when he was saying such kind of words, katika roya mko sikia, ah, kumbe mimi nekana kwa 19, kwa niko nini. Then immediately after we were having that conversation, I now go and call the, the person who was in charge. I, remember, I don't remember who was that time. I think it was that gentleman. Alikuwa pale. Bro, John, 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 John. Uja maa, nimemuna kifitika. Even, 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 now we are starting to explain to him what has happened. Hebu tuangale kwa mfuku wake kama maybe is he epileptic, ama nini, tuangale mfuku wake nini, no medicine. Showing that he maybe is epileptic, because he normally have a card. Ay. So, when I was explaining to them all this, in my heart, nikasikia ka, ka neno kamerushwa. Do not be happy because demons can, can, can hear you. But be happy because your name is written in the book of life. And immediately I heard that voice. Mimi mbio, nikachukua brangeti, nikajifunika. Na nikua mejifunika pali, nikasema, hey, thank you God. Kumbe mnikua iva asante. Forgive me Lord, I have mercy. Maybe I've, 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 Can your faith be seen? Are we together? In this story, we see that Jesus worked out the answer after the four guys obeyed the voice of God and they put it into action. Are we together? So, you as a believer, you should always have that anger. And uh, 
that anger in you will never come if you're not walking in righteousness. You'll be having the unbelief in you. Sindio? Kama unajua umedanganya, utakuwa even someone akwambia muombea utakuwa unasikia ah mimi siwezi muombea. Wacha nimpeleke kwa prophet akaombewa. The thing is are you working in righteousness? The Bible says that watch and pray. What is this that we are being told watch and pray? It means any time we should always be in the mood of prayer. And sometimes, you know, it reaches a point whereby uh, you are praying, you are praying, you are praying, then maneno in Aisha. True or false? Who has ever experienced that? But what have, uh, what have adopted in my style, uh, I have a, a, a PDF of around 600 promises that God has given us to uh, we as men. So in Afkamali, uh, when naomba, in Afkamali, unaomba, unaomba, unasema, God, you promised me to provide un unlimited so that your work can be done. Unendelea, papa, papa, unaomba, unaomba, unakumbuka, Lord Jesus, you said you're going to protect me from the wickedness of, of this world. Unagendelea, unendelea, unendelea, unasika kangigina kana kuja, Lord Jesus, you said that we should not conform to the patterns of this world, but be, let us be transformed by your word. And in Afghanistan, you say, una, una, una umba, Lord, what are your patterns? Show me your patterns. Lord, show me your patterns. Because I know the patterns of this world, they are not ours. Show me your patterns. You continue praying with those scriptures. You continue praying with those scriptures. In Afghanistan, you can memorize 20, 30. Me, I'm very poor in terms of memorize, memorizing. But I've practiced it. If you come to my home, uh, the 300 uh, promises that, uh, that God has made, nimezeka sitting room, unezaona kana kwamba ni nasari. Nimezeka sitting room, nimezeka jikoni, mali pale maybe una, unapikia, na ziona hapo. Nimezeka, nimezeka uh, bedroom, kila mali. Bedroom yangu, bedroom ya mtoto. Zengene mezeka kama decoration kazi kap. So any times I see them, ah, Lord, you have promised me. Lord, already you have prayed. Lord, you have promised me this. Lord, you have promised me. In, in a, you practice it. You practice it. In Afghanistan, it becomes, are you in you? Are you in Jesus? Are we together? That's how I've grown. And it reaches a time whereby, <clears throat> when I, because uh, most, my, my, most of my job, it's normally uh, entails a lot of traveling. Even uh, last week, but one, I was in Kisi. It reaches a point whereby when I'm traveling, my traveling bags normally has the anointing oil and the sticker that prophet is giving us. Whenever I go to a hotel, I say, Lord Jesus, this is my altar. I anoint this bed. Wherever it has been used, they don't want to know. But Lord, I anoint it in the mighty name of Jesus. Immediately you sleep five minutes as she. The Lord, all the spirit of the Lord, shows you what is surrounding you. Not twice, not thrice. I've shared with the prophet. And I'm here, Duncan, the Lord is with you. <laughs> then there is normally laugh. <laughs> in Kisi, it has happened. In, in Malindi, you go to a hotel, a very good hotel. You anoint the bed, everything in Anini. You sleep. If you sleep immediately, 10 minutes as issue. Mungu anakutoa anakutoa roho yako anakuonesha look what is going on you see prostitution then when you are seeing all that kind of things in the in the dream see yak lord jesus ai unamka do you practice can jesus see your faith when jesus sees your faith that is the time now he can, uh, he can come and say, okay, take it, possess it, have it. In the morning, walking with the power. Walking with power does not come easy. It comes with a sacrifice. There are things that you as a believer, you should make sure that you normally do them. A very good example what I've, uh, what I've uh, adopted in my style, it's one. In my house, hakuna kwangalia kipindi chochote, ni either uh, 
Heavens TV, either uh, GTV ya Prophet Kakande or ya Ezekiel na hizo zingine Family TV na zingine. Hizo zingine zote hakuna kuangalia. Music ile itachezwa hapa. Mimi ndio mwenye nyumba. Mimi ndio mwenye nyumba. The goodness also with my wife she's saved going heaven perpendicularly. Even there sometimes unalala unangorota unamwambia amka aomba mimi siamki nimelemewa. Yeye anaingia naomba. Unaambia the music that is going to play here is gospel. And you see and I've made it a tradition the moment nikiamka tu ile 5 ama 6 kamzika anaanza kupigwa kidogo kale ka worship pole pole chinchini unangoja chai sasa the moment you hear ninaweza unaweza immediately thank you father thank you holy spirit before you realize it you are almost, you are already talking in tongues i've made it a tradition in my house and whoever comes to my house Anambisi yona ta kipindi gani hakuna kuangalia kipindi kingine ni hizo Hakuna And because at my house I normally have wife also there are some people who come and wanaangalia angalia na mwambie unaangalia nini hapo If you are not listening to something that is not of God get out of my house because I know the desires I have for Lord Jesus Cause kuna mali nataka nifike and hapo mali ambayo unataka ufike it all determines with your effort the spirit of the lord has been poured to you unlimitedly eco so it's upon you to go deeper you go deeper lord jesus lord jesus you will find that spirit you will find it amen In my conclusion remarks I say this can Jesus see your faith Even we see in the book of Daniel Danieli when he was thrown at the lion's den he was tested And since the the the, the officials of that government had corrupted the the the, the what the the king he only trusted in God na akasema wacha mapenzi yako Mungu yatimie and when he was thrown into the devil dance he proved his god and i was also looking the the synoptic gospel john matthew mark and luke even the disciples themselves they had a doubting spirit in them they doubted that huyu yesu tuko naye hapa anafanya miujiza anafanya kila kitu but they had that doubting spirit that's why even thomas after jesus has been uh, have been resurrected inafkamala nasema acha niangalie ni confirm kama ni wewe then he goes again and confirmed if if you go ahead and read and you read uh, luke the last chapter mark the last chapter kuja nikusome kitu ndoone the last chapter the same you'll see undoubting spirit in them even as jesus had resurrected they were still doubting him and believe bad iko kwa watu let me go to look ah uh, look 50 the last the last when jesus was ascending to to, to heaven when he had led them out of uh, the vicinity of Bethany he lifted up his hands and blessed them while he was blessing them he left them and uh, was taken up into heaven they all worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem i know this one is not talking about him uh, in matthew i think it is also talking about it even the last time wanaambiwa tukutana kwa mlima ule tuna tuna tunaombeanga bado they had that unbelief mm -hmm. yes mark i think i've seen it it is mark uh, 16 last chapter 
After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of God. Aponyuma. It's not talking, maybe it's a bad version. Uh, in, if you have, I think, the contemporary Bible and the good news is telling you when Jesus was with his 12 disciples at the mountain, they had the unbelief in their hearts. But when now Jesus was being taken to heaven, that is the time they believed that Jesus was the son of God. The time when Jesus was being taken to heaven and giving them that is the time now they believed that Jesus is the son of God. And when they were looking up, and their eyes were opened. And you see, in that last verse, uh, he's seated on the right side. So it means their eyes were opened and they saw heaven. And they saw Jesus in that, in that place. That is the time now they believed. And that is the time now they went fully and preached the gospel. And some had that confidence. Jesus is the son of God. But Jesus is the son of God. So, my brothers and sisters, as uh, we push on in terms of fasting and prayer, may the Lord Jesus see our faith. May he see our faith and may he fill us with the Holy Spirit uh, for the purpose of us demonstrating his power and his might. Thank you so much. My name is Duncan Bithi. I come from Mombasa and I love Jesus so much. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, just clap for Jesus. Amen. We just want to make some prayers uh, this, uh, this wonderful time. Before now, we continue with praying uh, during our own sessions. Now, there are things that now uh, has been spoken concerning, can you demonstrate your faith? One of the things that you are here, I believe that is a demonstration of faith. But it's, there is more. Hallelujah. There is more. There is more. Faith uh, is like a cons. Uh, is like now there's um, elements in faith. The time Jesus will say, when the Son of Man comes, will he find will he find faith? So faith uh, is again. You see, uh, as much as the Bible says, uh, faith is a substance. Um, faith is a substance. Hallelujah. Uh, an evidence of things we have not yet seen. Praise God. So it means that we don't see things for us to believe. We believe before they happen. Praise God. So when you believe before they happen, God will make them happen. When you believe, God makes them happen. It is not us who makes them happen. When you believe, Jesus says, if only can believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Only if you can believe, you can see the glory of God. Are you ready to see the glory of God? Hallelujah. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in what you are doing here? Because you must believe what you are doing here. You must be here. You may be here from uh, Monday and you don't believe what you are doing here. You must believe. You must ask God to give you a portion of faith. If your faith has failed, ask the Lord to give you your portion of faith so that you can pray. And as you're praying, you're believing that those things, because Jesus says, if you are praying, you must believe. That those things that you're praying for, you have already received. Not that you're going to receive. You have already received. So, if you have already received, what is your attitude? Your attitude is more of thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That now, the evidence of things around you is that situation has not changed. But thank you, Jesus. Because you have already deposited. Hallelujah. Your faith. Because faith also is a currency. If you have deposited money in an account 
and you're waiting for the delivery, you are sure since these people are the right people, they'll deliver. Even though it tarry, it makes take some, some time, but you believe you've done the right thing. Hallelujah. You, uh, your attitude, you see, is that you live in thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Unaweza kufanya Unaweza kutenda Mambo Makubwa Zaidi ya word has to work. There's no other way. He has given us his word. The Bible says his word is tested. It is proven. It is working. If it is not working, maybe it's a matter of time. If it is not working, maybe you don't have enough of faith. I want us to take a moment and just go before the Lord. Let us contend for faith. A conviction. You are convinced beyond doubt that God exists because the Bible says those who come to God they must believe first that he does exist and then he's a rewarder of them that seek him diligently 
in the name of Jesus. Just ask the Lord right now to fill your heart with faith. If there's a prayer that the man of God is still praying, is that conviction to enter men. That heaven exists, heaven is real. That if you walk righteously, heaven has your backing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you just take a moment, pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to give you faith. Faith in the name of Jesus that every mountain can be silenced. People have mountains. It may be mountains of bills. It may be mountain of sicknesses. It may be mountain of rebellion on, be, on the side of your children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have come to a place of hopelessness. God is able and is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which you can ask as we can pray or imagine according to the power that is working within you in the mighty name of Jesus faith is a push in the name of Jesus in Jesus name that you pray today you do not receive it does not mean that you lack faith in the name of Jesus Christ Father we love you in the name of Jesus Christ faith is a push is a push in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's a gift that can come from God. It's a human action that can demonstrate that you truly believe that if you believe there's a corresponding work, there's a corresponding action on your part. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, faith is a work in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, show me your faith that works. I'll show you my faith demonstrated by works. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The actions around you. The adjustment. Like the man of God has just said in his house. He does not entertain anything that is evil. That is faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. We appreciate you. Acknowledge you. The doings of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let our faith be felt. Let our faith be honored. Let our faith be recognized. In the mighty name of Jesus, the men who brought the four men that brought the leper, my father, they were determined that Lord God Almighty, they may not have been righteous men, but they believed that if they found themselves where Jesus was, my father, the rest of the things will be sorted out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Like that woman, she told herself, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there's a fueling. Faith is a fuel in your spiritual journey. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, faith is the act of believing and staying. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, faith desires to be where God is. Faith desires to be on the other side of the divide. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not desiring to stay in pain, but to, to cross over, to be on the other side. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, faith does not look at the disadvantages that you are having. Faith does not look at your, the way your, your life is paralyzed. Faith looks at the abilities of God and does not look at the ability of man. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we are powerless but we know you are powerful. My Father, for us, that is enough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, like Peter saw you walking on water, and he said, if you are the one, bid me to come. And you told, me, told him to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, faith is having a steadfast look upon the crucified one. And my Father, when we do so, my Father, we receive our healing. We receive our deliverance from sicknesses, from pain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, is to fix our eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, having an wavering commitment to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, having absolute my Father, that my Father, there's no reservation for fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Faith is a seed of God in you. In the name of Jesus, it always grows. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, given time of nourishment and watering, it grows. It becomes bigger. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus said, if you have, if you have faith like a mustard seed, in the name of Jesus, you can command this mountain and can be plunged into the sea. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Faith is to be happy about God's assignment. Is to enjoy God's assignment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Joshua was fighting, it came to a point. He told the son to stand still. Because he needed to avenge for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says there was no such a time that man was had like that time it means there is provision for God to hear you in the name of Jesus there is provision for God to hear your prayer in the name of Jesus and to respond effectively in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus our standpoint our standpoint even now God is looking at you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Oh God, where do we stand in terms of contradiction? In the mighty name of Jesus, it demonstrates, oh my Father, Lord God Almighty, our loyalty to you. In the name of Jesus, and when we become loyal, my Father, there is a reward for loyal men who walk before you. In the name of Jesus, with unwavering commitment. In the mighty name of Jesus, regardless of the ridicule that comes on them. Regardless of oh my father of the limit they see, my father coming on them, they don't look at the limitation of men. My father, they obey you and you take care of their faith, you take care of the answer that need to come their way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, faith means choosing right and refusing to choose wrong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ when the Bible says about one the man of God Moses he refused to eat sumptuously at Pharaoh's table and he chose rather to suffer with the children of Israel he looked beyond the natural he refused the supply of men he chose the supply of God in the limitation of men in the name of Jesus Christ oh God Oh my father, the Bible says by faith there are those women who received their dead back. My father, because they had faith, they believe in the impossible. They saw beyond themselves. They saw beyond the economy of their days. They saw beyond in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because of the God, the all powerful, the all willing to supply their needs. They know that he was he, he was responsible for their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tell the Lord to spy your faith. To spy your faith. The things you declare as a result of faith. Not unbelief. Not fear. But concrete faith in the almighty God. In the name of Jesus. If, if someone prayed. And the sun stood still. To this end, we have not seen such a thing, but it's recorded in the Bible. This man believed God. This man spoke, and the universe heard him in the name of Jesus. And the Bible record there was such a day that God had man in this way. In the name of Jesus, can he God, can God hear you? In the mighty name of Jesus, is there anything to add for God? Is there anything to heart for God? He's the God of all flesh. Is there anything to heart for him? In the name of Jesus, build my faith. Fill me with faith. Build me with faith. Fortify me. Fortify my faith life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my Father, fear is not my director. In the name of Jesus Christ. And belief is not my companion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty. 
the, the things of men, the principles of men, the working acts of men are limited to a certain level in the much name of Jesus. But you, O oh Lord, you are unlimited. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As you come out of this meeting, your faith is activated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, it's activated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, only expand yourself. Receive a measure of God in you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the working power, the active power that can change my Father, that can change the dynamics of the nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if a man prayed and my father, the son obeyed and he stood still, it means the earth, the earth, the universe stood still. Nothing was revolving, nothing was moving at the command of a man. He never prayed. He said, son, stand still. He understood because he was one with God. At that time, he understood he was doing the will of God and everything was at his command in the name of Jesus because the Bible says everything serves the Lord, even the sun, the moon, the stars, everything serves the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything is a servant of God in the name of Jesus Christ. God is waiting for you to speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You speak faith into being, you speak things into existence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been empowered by God. You are alive in Christ. You are not dead. You are living. You are alive in God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says the word of God is alive. It is active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts. It separates to the dividing of the marrow. It is the designer of the action, the sense, intents of man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, give us faith, give us faith, give us faith, give us faith. Let our faith be alive, let it be demonstrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we love you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our faith be active and alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, Lord, our past will no longer determine our present and our future. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, you said that my Father, when we ask, you will give us. In the name of Jesus Christ, that our joy will be full. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, your desire is to us is to see us joyful. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, you desire to see men, my Father, joyful in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, there is a face, there is a heart you desire from men, a heart full, a heart, a happy heart. A joyful heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said, Until this end, no man has prayed yet. No man has asked yet. In the name of Jesus, how are you asking? Are you believing the one you are asking? Are you sure about your relationship with the one you're asking in the mighty name of Jesus? Is he your friend? Is he your friend? Is your friend limited in the name of Jesus Christ? There is no higher power, my father, apart from that of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the power to change, the power to deliver, the power to overturn judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Any judgment made in the spirit, we overturn it by faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Nazareth. Father, we make legislations in the spirit that things will favor us in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, our infare and the unfavorable conditions around us, oh my Father, will turn to favor your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Every disfavor will turn to favor in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because Lord, you are aligning us with your purpose. You are aligning us with your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For us, 
is to say it and we believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Faith is a force that cannot be stopped. Faith is a force in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord to infuse you with faith. With faith. This is a force that comes from within. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's not outside environment. First, a force that comes from within. A force that cannot be stopped. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh Holy Spirit, let our faith work. Let our faith work. Let our faith work in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our faith work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our faith work. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let not our faith be paralyzed by fear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, when we look at natural things, natural forces, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are not limited. We are not enslaved to the natural forces. In the mighty name of Jesus, faith is not natural. It is supernatural. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is supernatural. It acts as is directed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, Father, we love you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. The expectation of the just shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do it. Fill your people with faith even this hour. Faith is the reason why we stand even when we are not seeing the results in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith is the motivation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, even when we are not receiving the faith is the motivational factor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. We appreciate you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank him for faith. Just thank him for faith. Mushkuru tu kwa imani. Imani yamba imekupa leo. The faith that has been infused into your spirit. You speak not to be heard. But you speak so that it can be responded to. You speak for change. Change comes by faith. Some men do not desire to be delivered because there are so better things laying ahead of them. By faith, men refuse to deny Jesus. They refuse to deny Jesus. They knew somehow he will deliver them. How he could do that, they didn't know. But they were sure about the relationship they had with him. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Because you're doing it for your glory's sake. You're doing it, oh my Father, for the purposes of your holy name. Unawe zakufanya Unawe zakutenga Mambo Makuba Zaidi Zaidi ya Nikuba Unawe
want you to give someone an opportunity to give their lives to Jesus. We are commissioned to go into the world making disciples of every nation. Baptizing many in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have a responsibility to witness for Jesus to our brothers and sisters. Not only what we're doing now, but also we have a responsibility when we come from this place. You witness to someone. There's a whole world dying outside there. Yes, they have heard about him, Jesus. But there's a way you can demonstrate Jesus to them. And they will love him. And when they see that, your life will never remain the same again. Nataka kupeana na fast call ambao wanataka kumpatia Yesu maisha yao wala ambao wanatutazama kupitia Runinga TV, kupitia Heavens TV, kupitia Facebook na YouTube. And I want to just lead also the Swahili speaking people and then we shall be praying for the English speaking people first. Uh, we begin with Swahili. Sema Bwana Yesu. Mimi mwenye dhambi. Natubu dhambi zangu. Naomba unioshe kwa damu yako takatifu futa majina yangu kwenye kitabu cha kuzimu na mauti andika majina yangu kwenye kitabu cha uzima wa milele na kupokea sasa kama bwana na mokuzi wa maisha yangu nimeokoka na nimeamini amen wapigie tu makofi Now we have a chance to pray for the English speaking people. Now after this there's a number on the television or there's a number on you tell us that you've dedicated your life to Jesus that you're you know you've joined the family of Jesus we'll be encouraging you through texts and the Lord will bless you richly. Say Lord Jesus I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Erase my names in the books of death and destruction. Write my names in the book of life in the book of lambs of life. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And from today I am born again. Amen. You can also clap for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord to bless you and to enrich you greatly. So this time I want to give people to, an opportunity to give if you came with an offering and also watching us if you have an offering there are details that are given there you can use the MPS or the PB the teal and uh, the descriptions are there on the YouTube and even just uh, everything is that you need to to use to do, to make your giving it is there and the Lord Almighty will bless you praise God so this evening we are meeting again the man of God will be here from five exactly, will be here. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he promised to pray with some people, so I believe today we'll do that. <laughs> Praise God. Now, <clears throat> let me just pray for the viewers even as we leave them. Father, I thank you for those who have been reviewing us and those who are here. There are people who are going to back to work, those who now have been on a break to just uh, join us. Lord, I ask you to bless their lives, the work of their hands. Lord, those who are troubled in any way, give them solution. In the name of Jesus, speak life into what seems to be dead. It may be a relationship. It may be a business that seems not to be working, that is not me, seem to be productive. Let the grace and the power of the Almighty God work through them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we leave them in faith, and we shall meet them in faith, even in the evening. By God's grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Friday. Sema Friday. Friday in the morning, we have the encounter with Rafa. That is the healing service. It will be a different healing service. What is wrong with your leg? So your leg is swollen like this. So you want Jesus to heal you. Do you promise to live for him? You'll be a good girl. Come out of in Jesus Christ's name. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this work, Lord. Thank you. My name is Diana Jane from Hong Kong. I was sick, very sick. My legs were swollen. I was here on a Sunday. And I had gigantic legs. They were so swollen. I remember when I came. You are the one with the giant legs? Yes. Hey. It's uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. And after the prayers, I got here. I went home and my legs started returning to its state, to its normal state. And I thank God I'm here today because I promised myself that if God heals me, I'll come back and do this testimony today. We will have worship and we'll have praise. Then after that, that, we know, that day no Pastor Bramwell. Remember we'll have had the morning devotion. I will just come, encourage, and I will pray for people. I pray for them because by one, that service should be over. So if you are not for the healing service, the main service for that day, the grand finale for the prayer camp will start at three, okay? So at three o'clock, We'll have the present worship. They will worship. Now the full team will be here now. They will be here. Raruka, Niamuisho. Muambia, tell God, let me not leave this place the way I came. Hallelujah. So we'll start from 3 o'clock with the present worship. Then we'll have the word. Then we will pray. And I will try as much as possible as God allows me. There's something that has been in my heart. Just to walk around holding your hand. Kushika tu mkonombili. See fire. Just holding your hand in agreement. I just walk holding your hand. So that will take place on Friday. And if God gives me the grace, I'll hold the hands of a few people. Whatever you, I don't, I don't, I'm not praying for you, but God, whatever they are praying for, I say amen with them. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. By God's grace. And the pastors will be here. Pastor Bramwell is the son of the house. We will be here. Tutashika na mkono. Atakushika mkono na mini kuja ni kushike mkono. I will try to convince my wife also that she carries the Holy Spirit. Powerful one. Vile nani... They say the man is the head, eh? but they say the woman is the neck. The way she turned me, the way she wants, she must have great Holy Spirit. So on Sunday, we just have the, the normal service, but it is encounter with Rafa part two, where I'm praying, I'm getting it. It is my final week of the covenant, the seventh week of the covenant. So um, I, we want to download it by God's grace. As Jesus resurrects, let people resurrect also. i